Well, there certainly is uh, the man Jesus, but I think to say that that's all that he was, again, lacks explanatory power because I think that we have a number of things that converge on this individual that are more than the usual number of coincidences you have with any individual. So not only do we have that he was believed to have performed miracles, we have a, a new religious movement, we have teaching, we have the fact that he dies at a very uh, symbolic moment, the uh, time of Passover, which is the greatest uh, festival for, in the Jewish year, the greatest time for uh, summing up all of the um, symbolism of the Old Testament. And he dies, and then his body isn't found again. And there are lots of people who claim they've seen him risen from the dead. And it's those sorts of things that converge, and of course I could list many more, on Jesus that make it a bit too much of a coincidental life. Um, I think you can have remarkable things happening to people, but they shouldn't happen in quite the same proportion as they do with Jesus. And the way he is presented in the earliest records is very much uh, having the character of God of uh, the Old Testament, that is walking um, on the water and, and calming the seas uh, like God does forgiving sins and so on. So he didn't certainly didn't think that he was merely uh, a man. Uh, he took on himself the prerogative of forgiving sins, which is uh, the sort of thing that any Jew would believe any God should do. Um, he also allowed people to worship him.